Okay, so this channel seems to be um, all about the Sussexes. Let's check it out. And it, Megan and Harry are having more severe relationship issues than ever before. The word on the street is that one new thing that is driving a bigger wedge between Harry and Meghan, in addition to their recent failures and ever more pressing money problems, is the lawsuit with Samantha Markle. The netizen wrote, Meghan's behavior with- Okay, so Samantha Markle, who has um, multiple sclerosis and is wheelchair bound. If you don't know what multiple sclerosis is, it's a, um, it's a demyelation of your myelin sheath, which is the sheet that covers your brain. So um, causes malfunctions in the body, depending on where, you know, all your lesions are. And um, for Samantha Markle, one of her lesions must be near the spinal area because, or near the, uh, the brainstem area, because and I'm just speculating here, um, because she's obviously in a wheelchair. So um, let's continue to listen. Also, Samantha Markle's uh, team have subpoenaed or have attempted allegedly to subpoena um, Prince Harry and Mr. Markle Sr. to the witness stand, which is supposed to be like the uh, Mark, Meghan Markle's trying to stop that from happening. Samantha is allegedly really pissing Harry off and it's making him start to wonder if she really does only care about money, prestige and appearing to be right. He may allegedly also be learning that she may not care about him and the kids either. Anyway, the discussions with Sam are going back and forth through legal counsel and Harry now allegedly sees some of Meg's lies and supposedly wants her to stop lying, work it out and settle it. I don't think that he cares whether or not she lies because he's starting to see that there are, um, you know, obviously on top of consequences for lying, there are perks. People, you know, lie for a reason to get over on other things, right? Yes. But Megan's response is to accuse him of not being supportive. The rumors are that this and their financial. Remember that this channel is a an entertainment channel, and on this entertainment channel, we run with the facts that um, Megan lives in California, and there, therefore could quite possibly be affiliated with the Church of Scientology. Now, these are just things that have. Um, appeared that way right i mean she moved to santa barbara there's a giant brand new scientology building there um you know why there recently she came out that she goes to in and out which is halfway from here to santa barbara and that the people know them there which is why they've been seen in the area directly across the street from the church of scientology now i'm not alleging they're scientologists I'm just telling you that these are the facts. The facts are there, right? She's using tactics very well known to the Scientology community. And I'm I'm not a Scientologist, but I'm obviously, you know, a resident of Los Angeles County. And so I I I can tell you right now that whether she is or whether she isn't, right? If and if she is and if and if she isn't. That's neither here nor there. What matters is that there are similarities, right? So let's go with a speculation warning and um, let's continue this particular video. And we'll find out who it's from in a little while, not yet. Financial issues, along with his homesickness and their alleged turbulent fights, has him more depressed than ever. Due to all of this, the relationship is reportedly taking a real turn that is different from previous low points. Royal fans can't help but think Meghan married Harry only to get the royal title. With Benjamin Smallbrook and Cora saying she was aware she'd missed the boat regarding her acting ambitions in Hollywood. She saw Harry as a gullible fool who could be manipulated without too much difficulty. But to do this, she had to build a bridge between Harry and his family. I believe she was surprised how easy it was for her to construct <coughs> this bridge. Harry fell for her womanly charms. <coughs> so every day I'm learning new things about this broad. 
not really anything I didn't know, just things that keep surfacing that say to me that these are pervasive rumors that abound, which must be faced, which must be based in truth, right? The fact that we have to dance around words is fine. I mean, what can you do, right? The key aspect here is to share the knowledge, and so we're sharing. I mean, let's be honest. She's a beautiful girl, and no one's telling her that she's not. But, you know, my aunt once told me, you know, when I was about seven or eight, when I was trying to play with some little girls that didn't want me to play with them, she said to me, that little girl might be beautiful on the outside, but she's ugly on the inside. And so I never forgot those words, right? So um, let's listen. As Prince Philip told people at a mansion house event in London, we all know what she trapped him with. The halfwit didn't stand the chance. <laughs> she looked for the Holy Grail and planned to marry the village idiot of the royal family who would open so doors to the public. Here's what I studios. think when it comes to these particular channels. And let's check this one out. I think this one's called Royal Massa. Oh, God. This is a touch tablet. I don't know why I continuously use her, sir. Um, so it's called Royal Massive. It is one of those um, channels that I've recently discovered. And it's taken me a little while to figure out that these channels that are banking, right, are actually bait based on like comments so the entire segment or video concept is based on comments so the person goes on to say for example twitter and then goes to like whatever the people are saying on the comments and then he loads up images of megan markle and right and then talks tells the comments to the listener and viewer right and then stitches the thing whole thing together it's quite interesting because as a youth i obviously always wanted to make movies and the fact that you can make movies right on like your laptop these days is just amazing okay so let's continue on that was from royal massive we're sharing his content because it's allowed right and it's not going to get copyrighted because that's what sharing is she believed that by becoming a member of the royal family, she should be eagerly pursued by Hollywood's movie moguls. Sadly for her, the Queen wasn't impressed. Markle wanted to use a royal connection to build a career in Tinseltown. The Queen told her, oh, you can't be half right and half out. What Prince Philip said of her plans is unreported and probably unprintable. I think she looks Meghan prettiest Markle here. Tried to salvage the situation of by all the pictures, the she looks amazing right here. Services to modernize the royal family to introduce Hollywood glitz. It's unknown whether she wanted paying for doing this. It's anyone's guess. Well, I wanted to take games, a note. Harry announced Meghan now okay. has the family she never had. How shallow. So I wanted to. Uh, I actually wanted to see how long into the video before he starts telling us or before the music is cued. That's another thing I'm watching. So we're going to keep an eye on this red line right here. This is the time, the timeline. And we're going to go ahead and play. Oh, those words now seem and at keep the time, our cursor no down. To, that he was bringing her into we're going to keep our cursor open so that we can take a note of what time his outro, I guess is the proper word to use goes into effect. Or the time for that. So right now we're at 2.25. And it's 3 minutes and 16 seconds long. Family she wanted wanted to destroy. Also, royal author Tom Bauer weighs in with a rant against Meghan's schemes. He suggested that Meghan was just after money and status. He said that's exactly why she left. Because she never wanted to stay really. She wanted the label. She wanted the title. She wanted the money. She didn't get so much money. But she did get the status. And now she's set on building herself up in America. So she did get the money. She just didn't secure the loans. She she got the loans, but she didn't secure them. So she's going to have to pay the money back. This is what this is all about. This is what the people have been basically perpetuating on her, right? They knew that she couldn't deliver because 
I mean, excuse my French, but the fucking bitch couldn't fucking even, you know, leave things alone. She had to go erect a giant, you know, uh, obstruction of view at Tyler Perry's house when she was late, when she was sitting there and laying in wait for like her next big, you know, like hurrah. So, I mean, Everyone knew at that point that we were dealing with a crazy, right? Not a crazy, but like someone who's got, look, the baggage comes with the territory. And I mean, I cannot imagine, all right, I'm Latina, so I'm, you know, I, I'm brown and, you know, but at the end of the day, I can identify like with her traits because she's, you know, neither here nor there. I used to get a lot of the times told in the past and especially in my twenties that I looked German because I always grew my hair wild and I always had like sunlit hair because I like to swim. So every summer my hair got light. I mean, you know, so there's these things that we see in Megan that we identify with and we're able to like relate to her at some obscene level, obviously, because we're watching her, right? We can't not watch her. But we have to also remember that she's like, she is a force to be reckoned with. I've said that before and I'll say it again. People can't stand to deal, people can't stand her. And so people are like lying in wait to not stand her, right? Like they're, they can't, like people are literally like waiting for the next ball to drop. So this woman, you know, however beautiful she is, however amazing her accomplishments are, they are foreshadowed by her behavior, right? But she went to a Catholic school, and so she knows the ropes. She knows the ins and outs of discipline and how to get away, like like how to get away with things, obviously, okay? If there's one thing the Catholic Church teaches you is how to get away with it, right? I mean, everybody knows about the Catholic Church, and I'm not bad-mouthing the Catholic Church. I'm telling you this because this is all about religion. Okay, at the end of the day, we live in a world, right? Not just the United States, but a world where everything is about religion. So we need to just remember that because the religion, the religious aspect is never gonna go away. And in this part of this woman's life, it is going to persist so if Meghan Markle told you that it didn't happen and she comes on the lens and tells it to your face right like she's literally looking at us telling us I did not do that your honor right that's what she's telling us so we have to take that with how it comes it comes with the knowledge that she went to private school and Catholic school teaches you to lie. I mean, I'm not saying they teach you to lie, but like the Catholic religion is like based on, you know, I mean, we we go to church on Sundays. The Sabbath means Saturday, not Sunday, right? It means Saturday. The Sabbath is a Saturday. So if you don't know what happened there, I encourage you to go and find out. Um, But in a nutshell, you know, you can count the days to where we are today and we can pinpoint that, you know, um, according to the religious narrative, the second coming of Christ, yada, yada, yada. So it just keeps going. It doesn't like stop, right? It, it's it's um, it's the never ending story. It's the greatest story ever told, the Bible. So, you know, what I want to know is, um, people are saying we're in the last days of the revelation. I read that book many, 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 many years ago 
decades ago, in fact. I read it over and over. I studied the Bible. I did this on my own um, because I didn't have a TV and there was nothing to do. And so when I ran out of magazines and books or what have you, you know, I, like... I mean, you got to entertain yourself at some point, right? Anyways, this is what we're learning about Mrs. Meghan Markle, right? She's a Mrs. Meghan Markle of Mount Baton Windsor because, um, wow, that has a really nice ring to it. I don't know why she doesn't use it. Um, yeah, we're just along for the ride, okay? And she is a master genius. Or you and I wouldn't be here covering her. And let me tell you why. Meghan Markle took that social media and ran all the way to England with it and got her a prince. And she didn't stop and look back. And she's not looking back now, right? I mean, what would you do, right? What would you do? Would you do what she did? Or would you be too embarrassed? Because I don't, I mean, I'm living in a house in the San Fernando Valley where like, you know, it's a metropolis of people and, you know, millions of people move out here uh, yearly, you know, to start their new lives because it's, you know, an amazing place in terms of the proximity to Hollywood. So at the end of the day, we're always going to come full circle, right? This is about Meghan Markle. If she tells you it's about her, then it's about her. And who am I to tell you different? Other than the fact that she is, you know, one of the most famous women in the world, whether I like it or whether you like it or whether the next guy likes it. And it doesn't really matter what we think because Meghan Markle's sitting on top of the world, right? Somebody cue Aaliyah. All right, let's continue listening. It's not the first time that Bauer has accused Meghan of having ulterior motives for marrying Prince Harry. And at the end of the day, remember that all, consider the source. These people are world-renowned writers. They're going to make a dollar out of this girl, whether this girl likes it or not. And apparently she doesn't because she's been very voice, you know, vociferous about it. So... During a recent appearance on the Megyn Kelly show, Bauer claimed Megan always wanted celebrity, but wants to control the narrative. 